In other news, so Antonio Brown, as you guys know, we spoke about him so many times, being super, I don't want to call him crazy, but another, <laughs> doing... Another person apologizing? Doing crazy things. So another person out here sending apologies, um, but Apology hopefully call. this one was a little bit more sincere. So he apologized um, to his former team, the Steelers, about just his outlandish behavior. So, I mean, do you guys think that this is genuine? Do you think he's done with his kind of antics? <laughs> I think it's too soon. It's, it's, it's too soon. Apology's to not going to do it. He needs well, yeah, I, no, I think he needs a little bit more <laughs> than an apology. But this definitely, even even whether or not I feel like this is sincere, mm -hmm. there's still a lot more bridges that were burned we're burn, that yeah. you kind of got to work your way back from. Yeah. It's a good start. I hope it is genuine mm -hmm. because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm all for brothers doing what they got to do. I yeah. want him to get back out on the field. He's one of the top receivers in football. Course, yeah. So I really want him to get his career back and move forward yeah. with his life. You know, so I really do hope that this was a genuine thing. But, again, with Antonio Brown, it's it, I can't tell right now. It's too soon. Because yeah. he might apologize today and then next week he back on IG Live. <laughs> yeah, about. I've been super critical of Antonio Brown. Yeah. Um, I think it's a good first step, to be honest. Um, I think it was more important that he apologized to the mother of his children, which he did as well. Yeah. Um, I think those are positive first steps. We feel he needs help. I'm not gonna. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not gonna assume to know what he's going through. Yeah. But we think his actions show that he needs help. I hope he's getting that help. Um, but we'll see because come July, August, if he's not on the NFL roster. Are we gonna get the wild tweets and Instagram posts? Yeah, he might go off. Right. You know, are we are we gonna <laughs> if if he doesn't get picked up this spring or summer? <laughs> he might go off. Uh, Antonio being Antonio right. again. I don't know right. he, so, hopefully he's in the building out here soon. So. I hope like I said, I, listen, I hope these are the I yeah, hope these are the, 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 yeah, we, the steps listen, in the right direction. We with that. We 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 with all the smoke now. I can't. He's not coming up here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no, but you I, know what? I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be like, no. Yeah, he can nah, come, I mean, I don't care. He can come up. But I just know. Some, I know he ain't gonna like. I've, I've had a lot to say about him. Yeah. So he he's not gonna yeah. like what I said in the past. And I wouldn't bite my tongue if he was here. I Guys, stand well, what's the what discussion we're gonna have to have with him if he come up Listen, here? That's fine. So so <laughs> a little FYI, y'all. So I spoke to Antonio Brown last week, and I told him that he's open invitation to come to our show. But, of course, I let him know that my co-host has had very aggressive thoughts about um, it. I just spoke my mind on it. <laughs> so I don't know if he'll make it. No, well, but, but well, truthfully, we'll well, which, <laughs> which part threw you over the edge? Was it the gummies? <laughs> no, nah, it was even before that. <laughs> no, nah, the gummies. I mean, that, that was a joke we would talk about. But <laughs> When he was throwing the gummies. To me, to me nah, what, he was really tripping, though. <laughs> to, me, to me, the thing with Antonio was, he is like supremely gifted on the field. Yeah. Right? Antonio yeah. Brown, mm -hmm. if we purely just talked about performance, he is one of the greatest wide receivers ever. Mm -hmm. So to like see the downfall over the last year with the way he left Pittsburgh and the way he conducted himself in Oakland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the whether whether, whether 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 true or not, the, the sexual allegations, but then the way he responded to that. Right. It's like, bro, yeah. we are rooting for you. It's not that yeah, we don't genuinely. like we want to see you succeed. But at the same time, you can't be out here on Instagram Live cursing out the cops, throwing gummies at your child's mother while your, your kids are there. Yeah. yeah. Like, you just can't do that. Yeah. Where'd you even get those gummies from, bro? That's yeah. my thing. You know, like, who just hope, walks around with a bag of gummy penises in their hand to throw out at people? <laughs> trust That's me. what I have an issue I, with. I mean, trust me, if you if you was a bum and we didn't care, we wouldn't even be talking about you. Yeah. That's let's, true. let's keep it funky. Like, <laughs> we're talking about you because we think you're really talented yeah, and we want to see the best listen, of Antonio Brown. I wanted you on my fantasy football roster this season. Listen, you I played your song game. last week. We ruined for you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We are, we're trying to build the brothers up. We ain't trying to tear y'all down. This is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Live from the camp. Come on, live. the camp. Uh-huh. This is Hi, Real playing. Fans Real Talk. Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real